Breakfast Lee's presented by McDonald's. Best part about working at McDonald's is the people. Barnes, two disgraced actors are now back at work, but they both made comments that are very similar. Kevin Spacey ready to giddy up and get back to work wow. over a year after he was acquitted in the sexual assault trial in the UK. Um, he gave a glimpse of his new role Friday, posting on X a photo of himself sitting on a horse on the set of his new project. Per Kevin, he's currently on location in Phoenix filming the upcoming flick, though he made no mention. He did, however, caption, a little beaten up, but honored to be back on the horse. Hmm. And then Army Hammer lands his first movie role after his sexual allegations called Frontier Crucible. Quote, back in the saddle, hmm, alluding to his casting in this independent film. The film will follow an ex-soldier who teams up with three outlaws, a woman and her injured husband, to survive the dangers in the Arizona territory of the 19 of the 1870s. He will play one of the outlaws. Both of them saying back in the saddle? Yeah, everyone's got to use the easy the easy one. and that, Those are really random ones to use, seeing as what they were all in trouble for. <sighs> They're back at work. Yeah, which saddle are you back in? But what a, these indie, I would love to know what these indies are paying them because these guys are desperate to get a project. Right. It, it could be big. Could they be back in favor? It's a huge gamble. It might happen. Chances are probably not because the marketing budget won't be there. And it's just not the same thing as a full-on Hollywood production. We'll see. This is maybe the most random story I've seen in so long, Barnes. Did you know that Eva Longoria saved John Wick? That whole franchise? That's weird to me. I heard this. They were about to like implode, and she put $6 million in. Of course, 10 years later, she made like $12 million, and the checks are still coming in. Why wouldn't Keanu do it? I don't know. I have no idea, but she stepped in at the last minute. And apparently, she's invested in two soccer clubs, a tequila, a food brand, and now, of course, she has her own production company. So she's... I mean, seriously, I, I don't know what her net worth is. How is it that high? From is it isn't Desperate Housewives her biggest biggest thing? Well, you know, she has a lot of series on TV. She she's doing the Apple TV series Land of Women. That's from her production company, and then the two soccer teams, including Natalie Portman's Angel City FC, the most valuable team in women's sports history. I had no idea. The tequila company, Casa del Sol. Wow. I guess it sold for a billion dollars. Wow, there you go. Wow. But still, the whole Keanu thing, that seems like, is he not bright enough to recognize the... Is he not bright enough? No, I'm saying that the investment opportunity that was before him on a project that he was deep into. Maybe he couldn't write a $6 million check. He could have given some offer back in. Wasn't this already once it was going? It wasn't the first yeah. one. It's, uh, it's on. I don't yeah. know if it was the first one, but I have to say, good for Eva Longoria. I feel like it wasn't. When I read the article. She's invested wisely. Man, she's smart. Good for her. I don't know if you've seen this uh, movie in theaters, but it's also on streaming now. Kate Winslet. It's a true story. She is uh, playing Lee Miller, a World War II photojournalist. True story. She was a fashion model who became a war correspondent for Vogue magazine, and she captured some of the most important images of the war, but at a great personal cost. I actually want to see this movie. The cast is incredible. Here she is talking about it. I'm so proud of what we did. So I have an overwhelming feeling of pride, which I think is really important. I think that the way that we live now, we forget we're so busy and thinking and phones and life and work and children, all of it, you know, there's always so much to manage that we forget to stop and say, I was really proud of myself for that. I think especially as women. And so for me, I'm really enjoying going, yes, I'm proud of what we did. You know? As you should be. <laughs> yeah, it's a good feeling. Also in the movie, Marianne Cotillard, Andy Samberg, Alexander Skarsgård. Yeah, the cast is incredible. I don't know if you uh, saw this or caught this, but Jason Kelsey was at Penn State over the weekend. He was taping that ESPN College game day. Uh, Walking through the crowd, somebody decided to provoke him, calling him a bad word. Well, he took the person's phone and smashed it on the ground. He was talking about Travis. The bad word was referencing Travis and his girlfriend. Hmm, who's that? Hmm, hmm. What they called him was what the Brits call a cigarette. But I mean, you got, there's always this guy 
There's always that one guy. But what I here's what I don't understand. Like you know, people are going to try to provoke you. There's cameras everywhere. Just keep walking. And bro's walking through with a 12 pack of beer with one of them in his hand. <laughs> I mean, he was shotgunning beers and ripping the tin open with his mouth, with his teeth. But Come on, come on. And this guy's a huge dude. He played in the NFL on the line. Are you really going to mess with him? What the guy didn't expect was that he would actually turn around and engage. Mm-hmm. Here's the clip. You'll hear a click at the end. That's mm-hmm. when he turns around and grabs the dude's phone and just, like, with all might, throws it to the ground. It's hard to capture. You can hear a little click. Here it is. Kelsey, Kelsey, Kelsey. Hey, Kelsey. Kelsey. I can feel your brothers. Kelsey, can I get a fist bump? Kelsey, can I get a fist bump? That was it. That click. Yeah, I heard the click. And then someone pushed him. I think the same guy. He leaned down. I'm not sure if he was picking up the phone or picking up something else. And he pushed him. I'm like, bro, you are flirting with disaster. And Kelsey turned around and and said, who's the mm mm-mm now? And was like in his face. What will be the repercussions? Well, he'll probably get a slap on. He didn't provoke it. He definitely finished it, but he didn't provoke it. But people, come on. I mean, this is how people want to get their 15 minutes. You know that, Barnes. Not the way. He could have unloaded on that guy. He could have killed him. I know. That is your celebrity sleaze.